As with arc lengths, it's pretty unlikely that you'll be able to actually find surface areas by hand. What would usually happen would be that you'd set up the integral and then use some kind of program or computer algorithm to evaluate it. Still, we can do an example or two where the integral works out. Find the surface area of the solid of revolution formed by rotating y equals 2 times the square root of x, where x ranges from 1 to 2 around the x axis. And at least to a point, this problem is very plug and play. I mean, we can at least set up the integral without a lot of difficulty. The integral from 1 to 2 of 2 pi, that's always there, times 2 to the square root of x. Times the square root of 1 plus, okay, y equals 2x to the one half, y prime then is x to the negative one half, and y prime squared is one over x. The issue is that it's not necessarily obvious where to go from here. I mean, this is composition, but this doesn't seem to be a U substitution problem. If you let U be one plus one over X, du would be a negative one over x squared, and we certainly don't have that. Maybe we can try to do something with the fact that we have two square roots. That is to say, a square root times a square root can be written as a single square root. But does that help anything? Well, as a matter of fact, it does. We can, let's finally go ahead and do the obvious. Two times two is four. We can simplify this as x plus one. And now this happens to be an integral we can take. 
work, I mean. As with the arc length, this problem was pretty clearly specifically written so that the integral would work out nicely. And the reason we can take this integral, it's composition. So if we can take it, it should be using u substitution. Well, if u equals x plus one, that's so simple that du equals dx. And we've just got the square root of u du. If x equals one, u equals one plus one or two. If x equals two, u equals two plus one or three. So let's see, this is u to the one half. So we'll bump that up to three halves, but we'll divide by three halves, which is the same as multiplying by two thirds. And there's a four and a pi there as well. This isn't, let me do the multiplication here. This isn't going to turn into anything nice by which I mean our answer is going to be an irrational number that we can't really simplify in any way. We could put this into a calculator later if we wanted. Let me pause and do that. I'm a big fan of getting decimal approximations. You could leave your answer this way if you preferred to. It's just from my point of view, calculus is a very applied field of mathematics. And in basically any kind of application, you are going to need a decimal. Like if you're, I don't know, gold plating this object, you can't order this many square inches of material. You'd need to have some idea what this was as a decimal for it to be any help. 